alongside the legend Tom Wallace. And we were so excited to bring this contest here to Norway. Alan Walker, by the way, just putting down a massive set for the crowd here at the Hopfjall Resort. And they are primed and ready to watch these guys throw down. Snowboard Knuckle Hug made its debut last season. Huge success. And then it got to thinking, why haven't we done this for ski yet? We do it for ski at X Games Aspen just a few weeks ago, completely changing the game. Yeah, it was a huge success, really fun. I had the opportunity to actually compete in that event in Aspen with all these guys talking a little bit about it as we went. It was just so fun. The style of Knuckle Huck isn't just about the hardest trick. It's all about creativity, having a smile on your face, having fun out there, doing something different. It is just great to watch, great for the fans, and just great for the sport. This is what ski and snowboard is all about. And here's our defending Knuckle Huck gold medalist who also walked away with a gold medal in slope style, Colby Stevenson. Yeah, perhaps the uh, MVP, dare we say, of X Games Aspen 2020, Colby Stevenson, in his X Games debut, skis away with two golds, but uh, winning in Knuckle Huck was very impressive for the young man. Yeah, really cool. And you can see we're going to see a lot of things like that, a lot of butters, a lot of unique rotations, popping off the noses, the tails, rolling around on the ground, dragging hands on the ground, it's all sorts of creative, different tricks that you would never normally see in an X Games event. And it should be noted, this knuckle here at Hafjell at X Games Norway, a little different than the one we see at Buttermilk and Aspen. That's right, the one at Buttermilk was a little flatter, had sort of two takeoffs. This one's a little bit more steep, a little bit more up, and we're gonna see, I think, some bigger flips and bigger maneuvers off of it. Eight skiers in this contest. It's a 20-minute jam ranking-based off of overall impression. Now, you're not competing. You did compete and also commentate, which was insane as we take a look at the start list. Didn't expect you to be one and done. I thought you'd be back you know, out there. You know, one of the big misses on this start list, I believe, is Tom Wallace. <laughs> Tom Wallace is absent. Uh, but you know, no, it was fun. I got to participate, and that's what's so cool about it. You got a lot of guys on the start list that you might not see in X Games otherwise. Guys like LSM, Lucas Stahl Madison, somebody that films and competes in, in, in a different realm of skiing with the filmmaking, backcountry, urban, stuff like that. But here he is at X Games, so really love that about this event. And it's just fun to watch. I mean, it's just gonna be variety and, and just stoked, stoked guys. Yeah, we've got some of the best in the world competing in this event. We kick things off with a guy making his X Games debut, Peter Oslet. If that name sounds familiar, of course, his brother, Emil Elsleten, has been an X Games snowboard competitor for a long time. So starting the knuckle huck off with a big, he does the Tokyo drift, we call that, when you slide sideways, come to a stop and catch. So pop and switch 270, catching sideways into a big, misty sort of 720 there. So really fun bringing uh, Fast and the Furious 3 Tokyo drift action into play tonight. So Lucas Stahl Madison, as you said, not a guy that you see in traditional ski contests like ever. Ever. And to get him in a contest like that just speaks to what this event is all about. Oh yeah, I mean, he is a film star, famous for his edits, for his style on the skis. Oh. And here he is competing at the X Games in a style event. The big hand drag, 720 here, diving over, dragging the hand. So cool, we're gonna see a lot of hand drags. We're gonna see a lot of buttering when they're using the tails or the tips of the skis to press and pop. Just like fun stuff like that, lower rotations than you'd ever see in a typical slope style big air fashion. Jesper Schotter dropping in for his first run. Just finished competing in the big air event and Whoa. wrapping it up. Burrito roll on that one with the hand drag 1080. Absolutely sausage, egg, and cheese breakfast burrito on this one. <laughs> Wrapping it up. So, again, where on most events I'd be like, oh, well, didn't get the grab. It's not about getting the grab. He's about just getting the rotation around. It's just all about fun. There's no rules, no regulations on this one. And yeah, great start there for uh, Jesper. The style getting elevated. How about Oystein brought? He's going to put it down on his first run here for the Norwegian out of Torpo. 
Norwegian crowd is excited to have him out here. Big off the noses, sort of misty 720 there to start things off. Going to the bottom, look, pops off the noses, gets the tail grab all the way to the bottom. So very cool. That's what we're talking about. The way he pops off the noses, just all that unique variety. Six X Games medals for Oystein, including a couple of golds in slope style, now trying to make his presence felt in Knucklehawk. Antoine Adelis having himself an evening winning X Games gold in big air just a little while ago. Yeah, so just getting off his first X Games medal, which he walked away with gold in big air. They're going for the nice kind of nose butter, nose tap 540 there, really bouncing around, trying to, Antoine not necessarily known for these sort of knuckle maneuvers or, or sort of the lower spins and the stylish things. He's more of a, yeah, big air slope skier, known for his big triple cork rotation. So nice to see him slowing it down for a change and just trying to join the, uh, the style crew out here in the knuckle huck event. Well, we're midway through run number one and it's Jesper Schotter leading the way, but here's Alex Hall. Alex Hall going oh. huge there. So a lot of fun already getting thrown down. Alex Hall and Colby Stevenson, the two Americans, I saw them warming up. They were spinning like tops out there. A lot of hand drags, a lot of uh, nose butters and things like that. Big nine, is that what that is? Yeah. And so look at the real estate travel, Tom. The early pop really brings out the real estate. I mean, that was a solid 40, 50 feet off that knuckle and down. So good enough for third place, but here is Henrik Harlow, whose style at times feels unmatched, and this feels like an event custom made for Henrik. Yeah, most definitely known for the butters. And oh! there's the big nose butter double cork off the knuckle. So, I mean, this is a trick he popular popularized and brought to slope style. Here he is doing it on the knuckle hook, just buttering and then going Oh, letting go and going 1260 to the bottom. Look at that face setting, pressing off those noses. I mean, wow. Now, Henrik's always in a good move, but a disappointing finish for him earlier this evening in Big Air as he wasn't able to get on the podium. Yeah, no, Henrik, I mean, for being the dominating Big Air skier and dominating an Aspen this year, walking away with gold in Big Air, disappointing finish, but already off to a great start. Right. You see, yeah, bumped up into first place above his Swedish counterpart, Jesper, there, and off to a great start for Henrik here in the knuckle huck. And here's our defending winner from Aspen, oh, Colby Stevenson. Oh, very cool there. Gets the noses on the ground twice. Goes at nose butter three, or five, I should say, and then touches them again before spinning out another spin all the way down. I mean, very cool there with the double sort of tap with the noses. Time for run number two, and it's Henrik Harlow still leading the way, but Colby Stevenson jumping up into second place. Here's Oslin. Oh, oh, yeah. Rolling around, going sort of double Polish donut, I believe. I mean, going, we kind of got sprayed by the camera. Watch him slide onto his side, doing the Polish donut, then planting the arm, popping it up. The poles come around, a little Matra D sort of serving right there at the end. I mean, wow. That's it. That's so impressive. And the core strength to be able to literally lay down on the snow and pick yourself back up and finish that. Very Incredible. cool. So Lucas Stahl Madison sitting in seventh place. Oh, grabbing the tail. Oh, oh that was styly. Very styly there for LSM. Dragging, grabs the tail, drags the hand, gets corked, and then brings it back to backwards. So looks like he's going to go to 360, sort of stalls the rotation with the tail grab and landing it switch. Very stylish move there. Judges digging that. Live rankings putting him up into fourth. Jesper's off to the quarter pipe. Okay, so known for his switch back flip and switch front flip. Let's see if he gets kind of weird off the knuckle here. Oh! oh! The switch double back flip. 
I thought he was gonna go single. He just kind of lit up for the crowd here tonight. Switch, double backflip off the knuckle, absolutely blind. This, this is psycho Tom. Tucking it over, going huge, laying it out. Oh, Jesper, very, very cool. Oh, look how close his head is to the ground. Completely blind, backwards the entire time, going huge and stomping it. Wow. Getting some high fives from the fans down there. So we turn our attention now to Oystein Brat. Switch, oh, switch, tail butter, seven with the mute grab. Oh, and now we see it, Jesper. The judges, I think, had to watch that over and over again. They were as impressed as we are. Jesper taking over first place. All the way to the top. Here's Oystein with that op mute. So pretty cool there with the switch butter. I like the way he's getting that op grab. Maybe looking for something bigger. He's just warming up into it. That was unique, but I mean, it's hard to stand out when guys like Jesper are doing switch double backflips off the knuckle. Henrik's doing the nose butter double cork. I mean, wow. Antoine Adelis sitting in eighth place. Whoa, huge switch 720. So sort of doing a pretzel there along the knuckle, does a 180 to the left and then spins back. Sort of a pretty classic switch 720, but going huge down the landing and uh, yeah, having fun. You can see the smile on his face. He's already got a gold medal tonight in big air and just having fun out there oh, yeah. now in knuckle. Hunt. He's celebrating no matter what tonight. Oh yeah. Alex Hall in seventh place. So we saw that hand drag 900, the first run. Oh, going for the butter there and then looking for the tap. We'll have to see in the replay if he got the tap on that knuckle. He's going nose butter. And then right here at three, he tries to tap. I think he's getting it. Taps the skis and then keeps going. Huge down the landing. Alex, a gold medal in slope style, a gold medal in big air. How about going for that trifecta, a gold medal in knuckle hug and adding to his collection. He'll try to do it. But we turn our attention now to Henrik Harlow, who had first place snatched from him by Jesper. Can he take it back? Oh, whoa. Getting a little caught up there. I think he was looking for a unique one where he holds the nose butter on the tips of the skis all the way across the knuckle and just has to set them down there. Oh, maybe looking for the nose butter into the tail butter, but just got caught up a little bit. So a little bit of a bobble there, but still, he's got that nose butter double cork. He can keep going. A lot of time left on the clock. Our defending champ, Colby Stevenson, in fifth place. Oh, Colby going triple tap on that. Was that? Hit the tails, hit the noses. Let's see goes butter off the tails, hits the noses, then hits the tails again. So using two taps and a butter, like tap, combo. Tap, tap it in. <laughs> Just tap, tap, tap a -roo there. A little happy Gilmore tribute there by Colby Stevenson. So Colby trying to climb the ladder. As he sits in fifth place. So we're two runs in here at Ski Knuckle Huck at X Games Norway, and it's Jesper Schotter leading the way. What a battle he's got going on with Henrik Harlow. More from Hopfjell when we return.
Taking center stage this evening here at X Games Norway. There you see six time X Games medalist Oystein Broughton. So accomplished on skis, we want to know what does Oystein do when he's not on the slopes? Here's what he had to say. My name is Oystein Broughton. I'm uh, 24 years old and I'm from Norway. All my friends from home started playing tennis as something to do when we were not skiing, and uh, I thought it was really fun, something completely different. I feel like when we're playing, it's pretty mellow. Uh, I usually play with Bendik, and we just try and hit some nice balls and, and get a good play in. I don't, never really play for points. When I'm skiing, it's, I'm always trying to do my best and trying to be the best skier I can be. So it's just nice to have a change where you do something and you just do it for fun. It's not that important for me to try and be the best tennis player. Love that, all shot on an iPhone there. Oystein Broughton, tennis game, looks strong. Well, we welcome you back to Ski Knuckle Huck here at X Games Norway. A look at our top three and how we've gotten there. Alex Hall sitting in that bronze medal spot, but how about Henrik Harlow in second? Very big double cork off the noses there, but this is the guy who's been running the show, Jesper Shatter, with the switch double backflip, did the hand drag 1080, tons of stuff already. We talked to the judges in between those first two runs, and they said they don't know where this event's gonna go. It's off the off rails. Off the rails was the direct quote from head judge Mike Atkinson. I love that. And, you know, again, we've done countless slope style and big air contests. To see something this new and to see riders of different backgrounds come here, it truly is wide open because you expect the unexpected in Knuckle Huck. Oh yeah, you never know what you're gonna get, what you're gonna see. It's so unique, the rotations, the tricks, everything. So here's Petter Osletten in fourth. Oh, oh my gosh. That was humongous. Going, watch it, it sort of does a revert sort of butter into like a switch five, but maybe looking for a bit more and just went massive on that one. That was like a distance jump landing. I grabbed Whoa. my knees there. Yeah. My old achy knees are hurting just watching some of these big landings. Lucas Stahl Madison sitting in sixth place. Again, not a guy who competes in contests, but he's out here at Knuckle Huck. Yeah. Oh! oh. oh. LSM going down on that one. The hand drag with the nine. So up in the ante of that first run, getting the hand drag, hand down, grabbing safety, coming around to nine and just taking that one to his side. Woo. You can see that in the slow-mo, the snow is starting to fall out here. It's a beautiful night. Landings are a little softer because of that. So hopefully he's up and at him all right. Good to see him ski away. Our current leader is Jesper Schotter. And he's next to drop in. Yes, for coming in switch again. What else does he have? Oh, oh the switch! Oh, 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 front flip, hand drag. Oh my goodness! Take a look at this in slow mo as he sets the switch front flip, reaches his hand down, dragging it, and then opening up. He might have to go for the switch double front flip hand drag. 
His switch and flip game have completely elevated this contest. Going crazy. So let's see what sort of serve, if you would, <laughs> Oystein <laughs> sets up player. for us here. Oh! So going for the switch trick and then buttering out, getting the Japan, just falling over on that landing. We so switch five, yeah, switch three, touches the noses, comes around from there, and yeah, falling over, but. Antoine Adelis sitting in eighth place. Already has a gold medal this evening in Big Air. Looks like he's just having fun out there, though. That's what this event's all about. Oh! Going for that switch seven again, where he reverts, sort of pops a left 180, then mirrors the spin and goes straight to the right. Going for the opposite safety grab there. Sort of a, a weird, interesting grab choice there. But yeah, you can see the smile on his face. He's laughing. That's what this event does. It's just, it's good vibes. I was at the start gate, obviously, while I was competing in this in Aspen, and just everybody wasn't tense. There wasn't that anxiety right. of competition you get with slope or big air. Everybody was talking and laughing and having a good time, and wow. wow. Then you get stuff like that, where I don't know how they're not anxious and a little stressed when they're about to try this. Alex Hall has just been clinical. Just assassinating that thing, going huge, switch 10, getting the tail tap, grabbing the ski. Very, very cool one there from Alex Hall. I mean, just a ton of variety, moving fast. All of his tricks have been high speed, like you said, traveling a big distance, tapping, buttering, just really moving across that knuckle. And that moves him above Henrik Harlow into second place, but here's Harlow to counter punch. Counter punch with that nose butter to tail butter. Oh, very cool there. So long butter on the noses, leans back, leans onto the tails on the actual knuckle, and then flipping it over. So very unique. It's a 900 total spin, but like, whoa, what, what, what? It's just a combo punch that he's and sending out there. The judges have to love that because he came back and cleaned it up from his previous attempt. Is that enough to move him back up? I think that might bump him up above Alex maybe, but tough. Jesper's got some heat down already. I mean, that's definitely an improvement. Yep. Oh, and exactly that. Harlow okay. goes into second place. And here is Colby Stevenson. Knows a thing about this. Winner of the Knuckle Huck event in Aspen. Oh. Whoa! The big spin, so absolutely tornado spinning this one. He comes in forward goes for the nose butter, hits the tails, and then just keeps spinning all the way to switch, almost to forward again. Wow. Pushing the limits of what's possible off of a knuckle for sure. So it's time for run number four here at Ski Knuckle Huck. Petter Olslet sitting just outside of the top three. Really, really like that Polish donut spin he did. Oh, oh, there he is again, going for that sort of reaver butter into the switch. I think he wants to go for the double. He wants to do this, get to switch, and then set a double flip right there. But he continues to kind of bail on the rotation, if you would. I think he's trying to push the limits and do something never done. And just, uh, he's going to need to just set it and forget it on one of these. So here's LSM sitting in sixth place. Went down pretty hard on his previous attempt. Just barely making it up there. He's not used to the comp scene. He's more of a film guy. You can take your time in between here, the X Games. We, we need you at the top. Right. Oh, you guys need me again? I'm going again? OK. Yep, you're up again. A lot of space, I just noticed, really, on that left side. I mean, they really set this thing up to be knuckle action. Oh, going big there with the hand drag, 540. So cleaning it up. He was doing the 900 last run, fell on that one. So just slowing things down and going five there. Open it up, putting the feet down. A little hand drag, but that doesn't matter. He could have hand dragged out of that. I mean, putting your hands down, getting butters on the, on the feet, everything like that. I mean, can't believe it's not butter. 
<laughs> yes, for is our current leader. What does he do here with under four minutes to ski with? Whoa! 180 in to switch flare. So just 180s, then switch flare, reaching Ooh. back for the tail grab. Heavy head on that landing. Yes, wow. Fur is a busy man. He's also dropping a real ski part in uh, less than 10 days, Monday the 16th. I had the privilege of judging those real ski videos, and I'll tell you what, tune in. They are not to be missed. Here's Oystein Broughton. He's in seventh place. Oh, there's, we saw him fall on that one in the previous run, so stomping it here. Just so much variety. Switch three, then butters off the noses into a switch seven, gets the Japan grab. I mean, just fun to see these guys playing around. Brought jumps up a spot into sixth place. Here's Antoine Adelis. Oh, another guy going for the Polish donut. So taking a page out of Petter's book and kind of doing the same trick we saw him do, going Polish and then spinning out from there, just not quite getting it back to his feet. What's that do, though, from a judge's standpoint of seeing somebody do a trick that somebody else has already done? You know, in slopes on big air, you expect it because a lot of the guys are doing the same tricks, the 1620s and those big spins. But in knuckle huck, they want to see variety. They want to see you doing something new, not just copying or doing the same thing that you saw somebody else do. Here's Alex Hall going behemoth, maybe the biggest of the night. I don't know how he continues to go bigger, but how in the world did he land that? That Absolutely was so far down. yard from Alex Hall as he's sitting in fourth place. Was that enough to jump up into the top three? We shall wait. Henrik Harlow, he's in second place. Back on it. Oh, the big butter into that tail grab. So switch gets back onto the noses. Oh, reaching back and getting the tail has to open up, going huge. So already changing it up. Some different Ooh, stuff than we saw him do in Aspen at Knuck Knuckle Huck. And I don't know, that was a pretty cool one. Jesper's got some great stuff, but Henrik's starting to stack a bunch of really cool tricks. That's going to be a tough battle for that top spot. Under two minutes, here's Colby Stevenson. Oh, so similar to what we saw from Henrik there, going with the butter in and then getting the tail grab on the way out. He's going straight nose butter and then reaches back for the tail. So nose butter nine, getting the grab. I mean, just these guys are flying down this landing. So 90 seconds to go. Looks like this will be last run time here in Ski Knuckle Huck. Now, even when the time runs out, obviously, all athletes will get a final run. So we're going to see one more really fun trick from everybody here. Will we see the double out of this knuckle? Oh, going for it. Oh. oh. Better. Oh, my. So finally steps up, goes for it, and just tucking it around. Ooh. Barely gets his feet under him. And that landing is not soft. It's not the way you normally no. hit the jump where you come down soft. That is bodied, we he would say. Got Cindy, prepare for landing. High impact. Very high, but still walking it off. Oh. Shout out to the crowd. Just super stoked to be out here. Another Norwegian that's just competing in front of this hometown crowd is pretty epic. So Lucas Stahl Madison, which should be his final run here in Knuckle Huck, trying to see if he can climb up the standings here on this last attempt. Oh, going for oh the hand gosh. drag and then wrestling. It looked like he was going to go for the hand drag, get court, and keep the spin going like we saw earlier, but really dragging it and forcing the feet right back under him. So maintaining it to switch and then riding it out. Very unique rotation there. He made that look so effortless, but that looks so difficult. So here is our current leader. What does he do knowing that there's still guys chasing him, Tom? Still time for other people. Oh, going oh. for the hand drag 1260. Oh wow. man, what a 
night for Jesper. He is landing everything, puts the hand down, wraps up the huge 1260 all the way to the bottom, Xing it up. Oh. There's there's nothing more you could say than Jesper is in X Games mode tonight. He is Simply definitely put. in X Games mode. Huge rotation there. Gets the hand drag. Oh. Should be noted. 11 X Games appearances, 11 X Games starts, I should say, no medals in his X Games career. Does that change wow. here tonight? Sure looks that way. Oystein brought sitting in seventh place. Oh, there's the big rotation out of Oystein. So going with the 10 there, I believe, as he sort of wraps it up, going off the noses, popping, wrapping it up, and coming around 1080. So a big rotation there. Not going to be enough to take over, but moves up to sixth place there. But yeah, Jesper still the star of the night. But we'll still got one more jump from Henrik, another one from Alex Hall. So a lot could change. Antoine Adelis sitting in eighth place. Just having fun out here tonight. He was the gold medalist in big air earlier. So. Here he is going for that. Oh! Ooh. Going for that same move we saw from Petter, the Polish donut double sort of flat spin, and just, oh, tucking it over, then landing right on his side. Oh. That could not have felt good on the shoulder. So here's Alex Hall sitting in fourth place. Has really looked so good here tonight. It's crazy that he's actually in fourth right now, Tom. Yeah, he's had a lot of tricks. Oh, there we go. Oh! What? Just when you thought it couldn't get any crazier, Alex Hall goes switch and then butters all the way off the tails and then count them. Switch 1440 in total. Switch hits the tails and then goes into a double cork, sort of 12 all the way around. That's what he wanted last time. Had to open up. Is that the most difficult trick we've seen here tonight? Most difficult trick of the night. Oh my God. All the and way up to the top. Alex Hall takes over first place on his final attempt. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I have never, ever yeah. seen that trick done. That is most definitely a first. But wow. Here's Henrik Harlow. He's sitting in third. He's going to need something massive. Let's see if he'll give us just that. Oh, oh. no. Oh, Henrik. Oh, go and switch, going switch, tail butter, then into the nose butter double cork. So that same double cork 12 we saw earlier, but going switch into it off the tails, then on the nose, pants are flying. I mean, just skis blow off. Tough one for Henrik Harlow, and then there was one. The final skier to drop in here tonight, Colby Stevenson, our defending winner from the inaugural Ski Knuckle Huck at X Games Aspen. Getting some last minute advice up there at the top. I think he's gonna go for something big. He saw Alex Hall go for that switch 14. Now he's going, oh! So nothing too crazy there, having fun with it. That off the noses, grab and tail. Henrik having some talks about the bindings there. Maybe something happened, just didn't have those set tight enough. Just blowing out of that one, going absolutely massive. And Colby and Alex talking at the bottom. I mean, Alex Hall on that final knuckle trick. Holy. And it's official. Alex Hall is your X Games Norway Ski Knuckle Hunt gold medalist. Huge run there. I mean, that final jump is what he needed to take that top spot. Alex, congratulations on your third gold. Now, Knucklehuck is quickly becoming a fan favorite. Is it one of your favorites to compete in now? Like, 100% my favorite to compete in. We're all just up there having a good time, like we always are, but in this one especially, I think, and 
They groomed the landing, it was snowing, so it was super soft, and we were just able to go like as big as we wanted to, so. And what about that last and final hit? Was that a good time standing up there, not in first place, knowing you had to throw it all in the line? Yeah, I was super nervous, but everyone was getting me so hyped to just send it, and yeah, I'm so hyped on that last trick. It was so fun. We're so hyped for you. Congratulations, Alex, and we'll see you tomorrow in Thank slow you. style. Yep. All right. What an impressive start to the X Games career of the 21-year-old Alex Hall. A golden slope style, a golden big air, and now a gold in knuckle hug, Tom. So much talent, so good at every aspect of skiing. Even in the film, he does backcountry, urban rails, everything. So, wow, I mean, great night. That final jump really did it. What a machine. Alex Hall needed something huge on the final attempt for him here in Knucklehuck, and he delivers. And don't want to take anything away from Jesper Schotter because he skied so well, but that's a testament to what Alex Hall had to do on that last trip. Yeah, jumping from fourth all the way up to first, but definitely don't want to take away. Jesper was a star of the night as well, going huge. Well, we've got a big action-packed day tomorrow. It's all about slope style for men and women, both ski and snowboarding. You don't want to miss that. But again, congratulations to Alex Hall winning gold in Ski Knuckle Huck. Stick around all weekend long. We've got more action from X Games Norway tomorrow.